Welcome to this week your Patriot newspaper online presentation of our weekly program the state of affairs as we continue to celebrate being Zimbabwe we are zoning in and focusing on a key integral component of our economy which is agriculture and on that note the tobacco marketing season was officially opened by the Vice President Dr. Constantino Chiwenga. And, and in the Second Republic, we are aware that His Excellency Comrade Dim Nangagwa is advocating for increased productivity, not only agricultural productivity, but also increased mining and manufacturing productivity as we leap and march toward Vision 2030. And on that note, Vision 2030 is advocating for a prosperous upper middle income by 2030, bankrolled by a successful national development strategy, one which ends in 2025, and was promised by the Transitional Stabilization Plan, which ran from 28, 2018, and upon assumption by the NDS-1, and the key focus is to increase productivity. And on that note, agriculture, tobacco, is our mainstay in terms of raking in new dollars, the green back, which is part of a basket of currencies alongside the Zimbabwe dollar. And on that note, you must be aware, before the land reform program, the tobacco marketing process and season was largely dominated by white farmers and when the land reform program which sought to address the in the colonial land imbalances it corrected and distributed land to the indigenous black zimbabweans who are excelling in the tobacco production processes and as we are aware that the 2022-2023 tobacco marketing season saw some farmers not being paid, but the vice president was very stern and strong and firm on the need to expeditiously pay farmers once they deliver the golden leaf. And what does the golden leaf entail? It entails promises for everyone. There is a cake, a piece of the cake for everyone to have a share as we say when the farmers go to the market we will see that small to medium enterprises will also get to reap the benefits as spending will increase what does it also mean for the general economy we know that then its contribution to gdp is quite significant as we notice over the years that incrementally the agricultural season through the tobacco marketing industry board has sought to increase the hectare of tobacco being put under the field. And as we say, we've had good rains, our dams have been filled, we are also looking for an increased acreage as Zimbabwe as we continue to claim the quality of our tobacco on the international stage. Having said that, we are also aware that our tobacco is quite a key ingredient in terms of the blending in the processing of tobacco. And you might also want to pay attention to the fact that the government of Zimbabwe is not only angling for the increased acreage and hectare and tonnage and output of tobacco, but is angling for the value addition process where we produce finished products like cigarettes, for instance, for the local and regional as well as export market. On that note, we must also be aware that Zimbabwe thrives to produce and gain its breadbasket status that it had over the years. And as we look down upon the past of 
negative productive results. We have seen that the Second Republic, through His Excellency Comrade Idi Nangagwa, has turned the corner. We have turned a new leaf, and now we see all the benefits. Very soon, on our roads, you will see the farmers that will have been paid immediately after delivering their tobacco and it has been graded and you must also want to know that the first barrel in terms of the official opening price was sold at a record four dollars 35 cents a kilogram and we are going to see positive results as the, as the farmers continue to deliver the tobacco to the auction flows issues of side marketing also came up and you are aware that site marketing is a scourge that turns away productive processes to reach its culmination in terms of those who benefit. Having said that,